All right, guys, we continue on with our next fight. We have Lao Yi Long in the red corner. We have Naimul Amal in the blue corner. This is in the bantamweight category. Lao Yi Long, hometown crowd from Penang himself. And we have Naimul Amal all the way from Kuala Lumpur. This is a nice little battle between new age MMA and just straight up veteran. Because Naimul Ama has been fighting for a very long time. And Lao Yi Long is still... I think he's almost around the age of 18, 19 years old. Like, he, he's pretty young. So, plenty of potential coming out from this kid. But Naimul is just giving no respect out of it. He's just going to go in hard and strong with, uh, with his low kicks. Lao Yi Long has... A bit of experience I know that he has fought several kickboxing uh, fights before he fought over at World Classic it's also another promotion down in Penang uh, but I think he's more of a all-rounded mixed martial art fighter so definitely expect him to mix things up and I'm, I'm very aggressive as his style all the way back in Mima Naimul has always had that kind of a... Well, the, both brothers, Naimul and Diawul, has always carried out that wild style of the, of just straight-up aggressive brawling. And there he goes. In with a wild one-two. But Lao Yi Long capitalizes on that and scores a takedown. Naimul Amma trying to wall walk, trying to stand up, maybe separate. But very good control from Lao Yi Long. Squeezes onto the legs and make sure he gets his opponent down to the ground. Naimul trying to pepper in some shots in between. I don't know if that was an elbow. Oh no, he's just using his fist. From this angle, it kind of looked like an elbow. Naimul trying to lock up a guillotine choke here, perhaps. Ooh. Oh, he's got that. Like, you can see, he got it at the neck. The Lai Long just staying here, real. Staying in his tight guillotine. Ooh, a nice little head positioning and he transitions and he's out of that choke. Knee to the body there from Naimul Amal. Lao Yi Long trying to force onto that takedown and successfully gets gets that uh, gets his opponent taken down. Lao Yi Long here just looking to control and try to end the round as positive as he can. I'm more looking to stand up. Lao Yi Long just hugging, tugging on that one leg. He pulls Naimul back onto the floor. A few more seconds till the end of the first round. And there we go, guys. Very good round so far for La for Lao Yi Long. We shall see how Naimul Amal want to change it up in round number two. Very wild and aggressive again. That spinning kick though is a little bit too high. Probably practice it on a lot taller uh, training partners. So definitely not going to hit over there. But a little long shot again. Going for that roundhouse into a spinning back kick. Sorry, spinning wheel kick. Spinning back kick is more of a push kick. Rather than a wheel kick, is more of a head shot, kind of a kick. Again, a hyper aggressive from Naimul, and very intuitive from Lao Yi Long to just take advantage of that score on the hips. Naimul looking to try to get a high rubber guard, perhaps. Not really gonna get there. Corner of Lao Yi Long probably asking him to just stay where he is. There's not, there's not much needed to do here from uh, Lao Yi Long because Octagon Asia Fighting Championship is sanctioned under Mazma, which is all, which means that they are using the unified rules, the IMAF rules, International MMA Federation. So the judging and the scores goes as such as correspondent to how UFC will want to score their fights as well. So control over time 
being on top, that would definitely score you a huge load of points. This kind of strategy is always very effective in most amateur MMA uh, rule set, especially with those shin pads. It's very hard for you to scramble out of positions. Lao Yu Long just abusing that fact, obviously, and just staying on top, laying and praying. Not gonna rush into anything. Obviously, not wanting to make a mistake here. Just want to keep it nice and cool. Naimu Amal, however, however, trying to score for another guillotine choke here, perhaps. Don't think this is as deep as, his, as what he had in the first half. Again, Naimu Amal just trying to tug on that head for that guillotine choke. But with the pressure that Lao Yit Long puts against Naimu Amal, it makes it really hard for him to really secure that choke. But that's really deep, man. He's right underneath the chin as well. And he gets out of it. No worries there from the fighter from Penang. Conclude round number two. We'll go over to the third and final round and we see how it defers for Naimul Amal. Maybe he wants to make a change in his game plan because obvious, because from the two rounds, we can definitely see that Lao Yilong has uh, consider, considerably dominated his opponent due to the top control. Oh, it's a nice right hand there from Naimul Amal. It's do or die here for him. Ooh, he opted to go for that hip throw, but he lost control of that arm. It was very vital that he keeps that arm uh, within that wizard. Naimu Amal trying to squeeze his way out of this, trying to take the back. Does he doesn't really get it? And just score a simple takedown for him. Now we see Naimu Amal to take the charge in the third and final round. This desperate mode here from the fighter from Kuala Lumpur because he needs to try to make something out of this round. And having Lao Yi Long to flip him aside like that, that's not going to be intuitive for him. Third and final round, especially knowing that your opponent have been laying on top of you for the for the first two rounds, you really have to go in for a finish. Either try to submit or knock your opponent out. There's not much to do here for Lao Yi Long. Really not much to do here for him. All he has to do is just try to stay on top, gain control. He already has the first two rounds in the bag. Just for him to win, all he has to do is just stay on top. There's no reason for him to go and search for a finish. There's no reason for him to do anything flashy. Now Naimu Amal is the one that has to do this. Looking for an armbar. Doesn't really get it. Lao Yilong passes off to side control. Trying to wall walk his way out of that position as Naimu Amal, but at this point it could be just a little bit, you know, too, too little too late. There's only a couple of seconds left in the third and final round. And Lao Yilong just holding down, making sure that he doesn't lose his position. Final 10 seconds of the third and final round of this bantamweight fight. And there we go. That concludes the third and final round and concludes the fight for this bout. A very promising win here from the youngster in Penang. Definitely took his charge 
and gets that big win and we will see him in the semi-finals Lao Yi Long did a very good job ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching I'm your commentator Daniel Chi do subscribe and like on our page of MMA Southpaw and thank you very much